and I got a bit of FOMO and I was like, I need to go to Fort Mason ASAP. Just look at those rainbow colors. But look at those mushrooms. This is the pinnacle item. It was 250 pounds. I feel like this is a bit of a secret on Oxford Street. Hello guys and welcome to a new vlog. Yes, I am outside Fort Nome Mason. And I thought it'd be the right time to come and show you Fort Nome Mason again. It's been a little while. You may have seen um, this store in my Vlogmas, but we're here today. I'm here today to see everything that is about the Queens of Jubilee. I am on the famous Piccadilly Road and it is not too busy this morning. a moment now I didn't think it was open it is very very quiet as I say it's been open a little while it is bank holiday Monday so you're watching this obviously in a couple of weeks time but look at the windows and the little clock up there it looks amazing and yeah I think on the hour and maybe on half an hour the little uh, doors will open what a gorgeous storefront much quieter than at Christmas but let's have a look at the windows as I say it will probably be a little tricky to, for me to show you everything as you can see the reflection as usual when I try and show windows um, is not fantastic but we have got a window display here showing just some of the items that we're gonna see in store for the Platinum Jubilee which is 70 years of um, the Queen being on the throne they've got a little hashtag there Platinum Jubilee and even some Jubilee jam oh we are gonna see some treats in store today for sure and then we have got wow look at this uh, Ju Jubilee joy awaits on level one and we've got this beautiful kind of crown um, if you can see that the <laughs> Burlington house across the way is um, yeah showing in the reflection but hey what can I do is that a little bit better I don't know you can kind of see that but look at all the gorgeous ornate detail I absolutely adore uh, this store it's beautiful yeah you don't usually notice these details when it's crazy busy so we've got lots of different windows I feel like when the bus goes past you might be able to see it better we've got a pigeon uh, display there and then we've got a corgi, just some of the Queen's favourite things, pigeon racing. She's had more than 30 corgis, that's amazing. Not that you can see it. <laughs> and then we also have a beautiful swan as well, and it is noted there, it's crafted in paper. That's pretty cool. Look at the detail on the lights, how cool is that? The hands coming out, and we will go into uh, the entrance in just a moment, and again, another nod to the name on the floor and as we pan over we have got another awesome window it says it's crafted in paper quite a few of them are um, but we have got some lily uh lily of the valley which it says was uh part of the queen's wedding bouquet which is pretty cool and as i pan over embellished in glass we have got um a little nod to some gorgeous jewelry a rose brooch the only thing I would say with these windows is you can't really see them, even with the with the naked eye, they're not great. Um, but woven in wicker, we also have a lovely horse. These are a little better to see down this side. We've got the Diamond Jubilee Tea Salon. If you have watched my vlog, you'll see we went for afternoon tea, and I'll link that at the end so you can see what it's like to have afternoon tea here. And there's also um, a little bar. I'm not sure if you can see any of those windows, but I did my best. But anyway, let's head on in and um, let's go shopping. I am excited to see what we have in here and oh I am in packaging heaven okay a little busier than I thought it would be but it, like I said it's been open half an hour and already you are hit with platinum jubilee uh, we've got a gorgeous gift box now I was looking at some of these items online and um, some friends of mine they probably are watching this Luke and Rich of Eleanor Dreaming if you're a Disney fan definitely will be following them but Luke was telling me about his purchases he's already made and I got a bit of FOMO and I was like I need to go to Fort Mason ASAP because I'm gonna assume this type of thing will sell out um, especially online so hopefully I can like show you everything um, and maybe you can buy online now there's no picture on the back or anything and they haven't got any like out on display so I would keep an eye out and as it said in the window on level one I think they've probably got everything out on display so I'll show you in a minute but as the crowds are not crazy in this corner uh, do you know what it wouldn't be a Hannah store vlog without some kind of food um, but we have got a 
gorgeous. Look at those rainbow colours. Macarons for $1.95 each. Oh, a bit cheaper than uh, the laudery ones, however you pronounce it. Some fancy eclairs. That brand is in quite a few places around London now. Um, yeah, and you can grab loads of different cakes. And looking at the pricing, um, it looks like you can get it's about £3.50 to £7, depending on what it is. <gasps> that literally looks like a Matilda cake, doesn't it? But as I pan up, oh wow, look at the displays. And what I will do is also link my Fortnum Mason vlog from Christmas time. Um, I actually still have quite a lot of chocolate left from Harrods. Oh, look at those. Um, and even 50% off. It smells of chocolate over here. Oh my gosh, look at the two taps just flowing away. And I always comment on the shop fit in here. It's absolutely stunning. The lighting is gorgeous. It's really classic, but also really modern at the same time. And uh, look at those shiny metallic looking chocolates. Ruby chocolate, oh wow. Oh look, it looks like they're about nine pound 50 per 100 grams, which I think is probably on par um, to what they were at Harrods. Can't remember. We've got some chocolate dipped fruit as well good to see and um, basically everything you can think of and we're still going <laughs> there's still another couple of counters to go look at all of these truffles oh gin and white chocolate gin and lemon that sounds amazing but these are the types of truffles that you get um, in those boxes that I just showed but these um, as you can see you kind of got to buy a certain number of chocolates to fill the box if that makes sense so I don't think it's too bad you're not technically paying for the packaging um, but you do need to buy a minimum quantity for it to go into a gift box but with the lovely little lamps <laughs> and another section of chocolates and you can see oh my gosh white chocolate mice do you remember sugar mice they probably don't sell those we'll have a look um and i can see oh, look at that little squirrel i'm trying to get used to using the zoom that's so funny oh i'm loving the projection montage of chocolate being made and it wouldn't be a london chocolate vlog without showing some slabs so yeah we have got loads of different slabs look at that one with the candied fruits inside oh amazing and uh they've got it's it was easter literally just now so you've got the ultimate praline ganache easter selection box um for 132 chocolates for an unknown price <laughs> but just to give a shout out to this building look at the back of that entrance that's absolutely stunning uh we've got the till area which isn't looking too busy yet here we have um some display boxes so that is the uh, jubilee Oh, just a selection box for £30. That looks amazing. Um, and I think this is quite fun. Like, you can always have that as a little bit of a keepsake. But as I said, I am here to show you the Jubilee stuff. I'll show you a little bit of the normal stuff. So this is the normal chocolate section. Um, this kind of dark green is their, their colour. It's very kind of it's like slightly darker than the Tiffany colour, I would say. But then you have this amazing section in the middle which is absolutely stunning and uh, yeah Christmas time you can't usually get near but we have this amazing marzipan section look at these these are hilarious so you got 8.55 per 100 grams I don't know what that would mean in the reality um, but we have got look at those mushrooms I mean you're not exactly gonna get this down Tesco are you that's something really very special and I'm gonna pan over this side you've got chocolate coins which are just kind of iconic these I bought before you get like a couple of little truffles they're a really nice little gift and we have got glacé fruits I always say it wrong and people always comment but look at this sugary goodness I can almost feel my filling falling out while I film this the little it's supposed to be like little pears or something they are absolutely stunning oh okay we have got some different flavors I'm not going to read them all out but you can have a look there never had a kumquat <laughs> wow look at these they're just adorable and yeah again at this section it's like something out of I don't know a movie we've got all the sweets in the background here as well even hard-boiled sweets I can see some kind of rhubarb and custards hiding in the corner there oh I like this with the red ribbon it's a kind of orangey red ribbon um so that is 7.95 they are quite steep I think I bought one of these at Christmas I think you get maybe like four chocolates in it I can't remember um but it looks amazing and I'm quite glad that I did come when I did and I can actually get to the front of this counter oh my gosh 75% off marshmallows these are bougie marshmallows we've also got some brittle over there as well again I can feel my filling jumping out of my mouth and then we've got gorgeous fudge section oh my sister would love this 
uh, chocolate orange, honey, treacle, ginger, vanilla, and pecan butter. Oh, and rum and raisin. And then Turkish delights. I'm not a massive fan of Turkish delight, really, but um, a little bit here and there is probably uh, definitely a yes. I feel like the last couple of vlogs I've done have been very sugar and food related. Uh, I will show you other things in London, I promise, but it's all about sweets at the moment. Oh my gosh, they do have sugared mice, look. That reminds me of my childhood in the 90s. How cool is that? We didn't get them from here, we got them from like the sweet shop. <laughs> As Easter has passed, there are some little offers, so for 30 pounds, um, a rainforest egg? Okay, not really sure what that is. And then we have still got some Easter bits which are all on sale. There's a little sign at the top there. But these look absolutely amazing. And the chocolate teddy bears are huge. Look at the size of those, those are massive. That's my hand for size. I don't know if you can see that, they're huge. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna head on up because uh, yeah, it's getting a little bit busier. We've got the gorgeous, stunning, sweeping staircase all the way down there's basically the kind of fresh food section i will go down there i will show you um and as we go all the way up makes my legs go a bit funny we've still got the star decorations my favorite were the christmas decorations with the exploded hamper and we have got a very fancy bag for life we've got the platinum jubilee one for 8.95 with the years 1952 to 2022 that is a lovely little keepsake and it's got proper bottom in it. I think I might get one of those. It'd be quite nice to use. I did get a little one for Christmas and I've it's not big enough, so I definitely need a full size bag. And just as I was gonna go up the stairs, look at this little um, decoration. How cute is he? And you can buy a little mug, time for tea, and he's on the front. How sweet is that? So yeah, fine bone china, you're gonna find the nicest tea sets in this place. All right, everyone's gonna ask me how much that is. Hold on. Okay, that's 30 pounds for one little mug and it looks like there is also a book as well oh it's a recipe book so you've got lots of different cakes and treats inside and a little teapot as well i love all the little kind of quirks and characters they add to things it feels very strange to be filming this and it not be christmas but i do love a reason or excuse to come here one thing i would say is when you come in here have a budget if you want to spend 10 pounds spend 10 pounds if you want to spend 100 but it can, it can get a little ha out of hand because you want to get all the knickknacks, keepsakes and things that you can actually use say in your kitchen. Um, it can be dangerous. And over the years they have added so much to like their, their ranges, their kind of everyday ranges. I mean, even this little cup, like glass mug with infuser for 30 pounds, like that is awesome. And then um, the bigger one as well, I love that. But there is, <laughs> different ranges on each of the tables. I mean, they get progressively expensive. Oh, well, they have a little bit more for this character. Oh my gosh, I'm loving him. He's so cute. Um, what was the one that we saw downstairs? And they've got little tea towels, a pair of tea towels. Right, so what are they? They're 25 pounds and they're kind of like that, the, the, the thin type. I do like a waffle tea towel. And then this is kind of like the main range, probably the, dare I say the word, entry price point. Um, so you've got like a teapot for 100 pounds, for example, and a striped mug for 22. So um, yeah, just to give you an example on prices. I'm gonna show you just some of my favorite things I have seen. They look absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, this makes me feel like whatever I drink my tea out of is not good enough. Lamb related things here, uh, which is great to see. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that tray thing. Uh, we've got a little bit of a display up there with the white rabbit. So at this point, I actually uh, swapped over to my iPhone, which you can kind of tell they were a little bit funny about my camera. So this is why guys, I don't use a gimbal or an external microphone or anything like that. Cause I tried to be as discreet as possible, even when you are allowed to film in places, but they had this, the stories behind the crown. So all that stuff that we saw in the window, the horses, the corgis, um, there was like kind of a little um, nod to what it was all about. And it's literally probably my favorite product. I didn't buy this cause it was like, it was like 25 pounds. For these biscuits, um, amazing. Five very premium biscuits in this beautiful box. Definitely um, very, very big treat. And um, then we have this gorgeous tin, which no doubt would be a bestseller. Uh, they have like a bunch of different um, biscuits, not cookies, uh, that it comes with. And Fortnum's are known for their biscuits. So that's definitely gonna be a really good thing to pick up if you can get something. And then they had this lovely display showing lots of different chocolates and champagne and sparkling wine. And this was their English sparkling for the Platinum Jubilee for 30 pounds a bottle. And that was also downstairs in the food 
section and then the champagne for uh, 42.50 so a little bit more than what you're gonna get down the supermarket then the china selection uh, was amazing and I'll show you the crazy bougie box in a second um, this candle was what I really wanted to see. So this was £60, which is the same price as a Jo Malone candle. Um, and it has the gorgeous motif, same motif, the print around it. Although I kind of wish it went all the way around and not, not have a gap. But I love the corgi and the little text on the inside of it. Um, and it was like a pomegranate um, scent. Then some tea towels. I think they were more online. These are £13. And for £125, this amazing tea for two teapot that comes in again a really nice box and a little kind of like gift cardy thing that was amazing this is the pinnacle item it was 250 pounds yeah tea for two the full the full set and then you can get the individual little uh, mug as well now i was actually looking for um like tea bags but they only had loose leaf tea but the tin's really lovely I personally can't be bothered with a faff of loose leaf tea. Um, and then again on the biscuits they had these um, musical tins which clearly I was not able to um, figure out. Uh, but there is always magical, well what should I say, musical tins in Fort and Mason. So chocolate and macadamia nut biscuits. Then for 2 50 I think that is, uh, a whole massive box of chocolates which we saw downstairs. Then in the condiment section, which I filmed really quickly, sorry guys, um, there was some limited edition honey where it said there was only 70 in a box, so um, yeah, that that's amazing. Um, and then we had some other honey and some jam, and also some beetroot and rose relish which was interesting and then i just wanted to quick show you all the picnic stuff over the other side the displays were really cute and i love that kind of tartany blanket there's also a dog section now but i did grab one of three remaining candles so i'm really pleased i grabbed that um i don't know if that's part of the sales tactic but i, I got one anyway i didn't show the other side of the bag so it's got this kind of cool picture i love the corgi in the middle and then yeah on the other side a little stamp to the to the side corner and as you saw oh if i can open this there was only a couple of those candles so yeah i've got a candle and a jam and they have a food to go section which is insane and this smells so good look at those cinnamon buns on the left they look amazing um so yeah everywhere has got amazing bakery selection but can we just acknowledge the chocolate triple chocolate muffin and a little hobnob sandwich. What? What's inside of it? Oh, looks like some chocolate goodness. Uh, yeah, pack of three for six pounds. Now, I don't think I need to grab anything. I'm carry on walking. I think I'm gonna go to John Lewis now. I'll take you with me. Um, that avocado and chili salad looks good at the back there. They are fancy knives and forks to take. <laughs> uh, we've got some yummy meat selections and look at that lobster and crayfish roll. That looks insane. Oh yeah, beige picky bits. Um, I don't remember these last time. Black pudding scotch egg, 375, a little bit cheaper than Harrods. And then a massive sausage roll as well for four pounds. Oh, you can have it hot. Well, they charge 50p for it to be hot. That's a bit cheeky. Um, and some nice pies at the back there. Literally a row of dolphin wild potato serves too. Mm, I reckon I could eat all of that. And a few little um, other beige moments. And then we have a whole pasta section oh amazing look at these sugar cubes that i've just passed are you joking 13 pounds oh my gosh i don't want to break them wow nothing to do with the jubilee they are so cute why do you only get one white one maybe people want brown sugar wow they got so many cute little things in here it's good just to have a little a little browse round um but yeah like i said i think that is everything for the jubilee could people watch it in this store for hours on end it's getting a little bit busier now I love those stars they're so cool well that was so nice to have a look around the store so I did actually um, just politely ask, there was like a manager by the door as I was leaving. I just said, I was like, oh my gosh, am I not allowed to film in here? Because I don't want to break the rules, although I, I feel like I kind of did. Um, and she was like, you can film, we don't care. Like you're not setting up a tripod. There's people, you know, filming on their phones and stuff for Instagram. And also, I don't know, social media these days. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what the policy is. Um, this happens sometimes with stores, like they're okay with it. I mean, you've seen my vlogs before maybe for Fortnite Mason. I've done whole vlogs before. Um, I mean, 
the lady who said don't use this camera was like you can't even film in the afternoon tea room which I was like that it, that can't be right um, but anyway we're gonna move on we're gonna continue I was gonna end the vlog you guys like longer vlogs so um let's head on um oh let me show you the Ritz we'll go past the Ritz and just before I get to the Ritz we are passing the famous the Wolseley a very very famous restaurant I love the metalwork and the arches I always think it's so cool and then we have a sneak at the side of the Ritz which always reminds me of the film Notting Hill but it's very very busy road I always think the rooms must be really loud unless you're at the back uh it doesn't look like they have double glazing but yeah motorbikes police cars is a very busy road I know you guys love the menu so let's have a look at the lunch and dinner menu at the Wolseley. Gosh, I'm not doing very well with reflections. Um, here we go. A prefix. We oh, we love a prefix menu. So you have got two courses for 26.50, three for 31.50, which isn't too bad. I mean, a little bit limited on the actual options, but it's a slightly more expensive restaurant. It's quite hard to get a reservation, um, but it's very famous and fancy inside. It's also it's known for like brunch. I think I think I think you can get afternoon tea there. I don't know if you've been. Oh, let me know. Sunny's back on. And this is the famous Ritz Hotel. I've never stayed. I was tempted. They sometimes have offers. Um, I think the cheapest room that you can get is about £700 a night. Not the cheapest, let's be honest, but it is the Ritz. Um, yeah, they do have deals uh, during the week and Sunday to Monday stays. We've got the iconic lit up signs in the arches. And uh, yeah, you can go in, but I don't feel like I'm appropriately dressed in uh, jeans and trainers. And this is the famous Ritz walkway, which is literally right next to and underneath the hotel. We put my sunglasses on and off all of today, um, but they do have a afternoon tea there as well. I know a lot of people watching this probably have been, but let me know, is it any good? You do have to book very, very far in advance, especially for Christmas. I think I went to book in September and they basically were like, absolutely not, you need to book. I think they come around like the beginning of August and they usually sell out within like a couple of weeks. So yeah, if you want to go to the Ritz for afternoon tea at Christmas, you got to be on it. <laughs> and if you're coming to London, yeah, this is an area where there's a lot of uh, tour buses. A nice bustling morning in London. I love it. See what I mean? <laughs> but that is the iconic Ritz Hotel in London. It's a very noisy road. I don't know if I'd want to stay in one of these rooms. <laughs> through Barclay Square for a few weeks now um, but it's lovely and sunny outside lots of nice cars and I'm just gonna head down Mount Street which has got quite a few different little fancy shops you know just gonna pop into Oscar de la Renta pick up a dress <laughs> I wish this kind of building work is very typical of uh, London and this area I absolutely love it the red brick and as I scoot onto the other side look at that looks so cool i love the architecture mayfair's not somewhere that i personally would want to live um but i'm just cutting through and we're gonna go to i think i'm gonna go to john lewis i don't know if i'm too far up Oxford street um but there's lots of nice little eateries and i'm gonna show you i think it should be open uh the connaught bakery look at that building it's absolutely stunning i just went past a very cute little patisserie there's always people outside i can't really go in the film it's a little bit too quiet the connaught hotel which is absolutely lovely and honestly has my favorite bar they've got a uh, martini bar cocktail bar shall i say which wins i think it comes up as like number one in the world we will head there at some point and i love the little water fountain display thingy they have here that's on all the time and in the evening it's lit up and it looks absolutely stunning but the Cornet Hotel is lovely they've got a couple of bars and I've definitely said before I think my favorite types of bars are hotel bars which probably sounds really weird but I think in London we've got some of the best bars in the world just the kind of ambiance and like the service you just feel really it's just a really lovely experience um, granted it's obviously a lot more expensive than other places um, but I don't know I think it's a little treat but I wanted to come to the Connaught patisserie I think I might have to get a cake so the store is sorry the hotel is literally there but we're gonna go in and get I think we should get a cake you'll see why in a second so they've got this cute little set up oh my gosh it smells amazing so you can sit in we've got some cute pink lights 
and there's still quite a bit like little Easter bits knocking around as well but this is oh my gosh cake heaven so what one should we get there is an iconic one which I'll show you in a second but look at the most beautiful cakes that one looks amazing I think I could literally have one of all of them. Yes, they are £12 and then 15 to eat in or £8 for a flan. But this, the Connaught, Connaughty Hound is their iconic one, which I'm going to get for sure. Um, and then they've got a massive vanilla and chocolate marble cake. But yeah, we're going to ignore the fact that everything has calories on. And then a little pine berry tart at the end. Um, can I get one of the hounds, please? Thank you. Ah, that is a major treat. But yeah, this is such a cute place. Stop by, they're really friendly. So you can go and have just a bit of a nose if you want. You don't have to buy anything. See what I mean? That water is amazing. It sounds so relaxing. Right, let's head on down to Oxford Street. Let's see what they have at the Jubilee. I also um, kind of want to buy some towels, but I'm trying so hard not to rock my little doggy cake. The thumbnail of this video was like mis slightly misleading now. I'm literally towel shopping, but I was gonna buy some online, but I kind of want to like touch them. And um, yeah, the white company haven't got colors that I like. Oh my gosh, who has bright pink towels? Yeah, and um, I've been trying to look in TK Maxx and I can't really find the colors that I like. So let's have a scoot. I guess Egyptian cotton is good, right? I feel like I really wish I had patterned ones, but I think I just want some blue or potentially some greeny ones. Okay, it's like 16 pound for a towel. I feel like bath sheets are too big. They're 24 pounds. I think this color might go quite well with my uh, new blind. Okay, adult purchases made. Got a couple of uh, normal towels, couple of hand towels. Ooh, and I'm struggling to vlog, but what I am gonna do um, is gonna go up to the roof garden to see if there's any room. I'll just show you the view and it's, it's free to go to. I did ask if they've got anything for the Queen's Jubilee and they were like we probably won't have much but um yeah i might have to come back another time um it's not that far away but yeah might have to wait on that one i feel like this is a bit of a secret on oxford street so on the fifth floor i've shown this before in a vlog i know we've got the john lewis willows roof garden i'm confused i thought it was going to be crazy busy i'm just going to talk over the copyrighted music but this is always really busy um like during the week a lot of people come here if you work in the area, it's good with like office colleagues, but you've got these little domes, these little uh, pods that you can um, get as well. Have a look online. It doesn't really sell it online, I must admit. Uh, but look at that, what a great setup. I'm really hungry. Maybe I should get some lunch maybe while I'm here. Um, but yeah, you can't smoke up here, but yeah, please only eat food and drinks. So you can't bring a picnic up on um, my cake. It's not too warm outside. It'll be all right for a while. We've got a huge bar and restaurant. This will do. I'm just gonna chill and get some food. I want some actual proper food. I am sat right by speaker, which is absolutely fine. Um, oh, a bit of fresh air. So I do want to get some proper food. Um, oh, wraps by Tiny Temper. How random. Um, but I'm thinking maybe like just a nice wrap would be good. Oh, we got some salad. Wraps rainbow salad. That sounds pretty good. You can add some chicken on that. Uh, their take on a Caesar salad and yeah, some ice cream, peri peri fries. Oh, that's a bit badass, not as loud. And then we also have the drinks menu. I think I'm getting this in shot. Um, I don't really want a drink, but we have got some cocktails for £12 to choose from. Different white wines, sparkling wines, the music's getting louder, and um, yeah, quite a few bits to choose from. And some beers as well. So yeah, quite a nice little setup. So I've just ordered the African chicken something or other wrap. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. It's got a real kick to it. Very nice. Oh, that was good. I am full. This has been a nice little kind of late morning into lunchtime vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to get an Uber and go home. My mouth is on fire. It has so much spice. So yeah, I'm going to drink loads of water now. All right, guys, on that note, yeah, I'm going to love and leave you. I will see you next Friday. Um, I hope you liked this vlog. I know there was a little bit of a, <laughs> a mess probably. I'll try and fix it in editing. Um, I thought it was Mason, but yeah, I will be back. Um, I just honestly actually haven't got the energy to go around. John knows. I think we pro there probably is stuff in the store. Um, but yeah, uh, like this video if you did. Come and say hi over on Instagram and subscribe if you wish to do so. And I will see you next Friday at 6 p.m. for what am I doing next time? I'm going to the Cotswolds. Whoa.
like, would I have already uploaded that? So maybe that's the next vlog. Who knows what happens with my uploads. Um, but I will see you next time. Bye.